how to make fettuccine alfredo. In one pot, start boiling water for pasta. In another pot, heat one and a one-third cup of heavy cream and five tablespoons of butter until melted and simmering. Feel free to add one to three cups of frozen broccoli and two nine-ounce packages of Purdue chicken shortcuts. The chicken is already fully cooked, so you don't have to worry about it. When it's when your sauce is simmering like this, take it off the heat. When your water is boiling, cook until according to package directions. Now, if you don't want to use fettuccine, feel free to use whatever pasta you'd like. Cook according to package directions. Now, while our pasta is cooking, we're going to grate one to two cups of Parmesan cheese. Add pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of red pepper flakes if you'd like, but do not add salt. Reserve under a cup of pasta water and drain the rest. Add your drained pasta to your broccoli and chicken mix and add one third cup of heavy cream to that as well as your cheese mixture. Mix until well combined. When you're done mixing thoroughly, let's stand for five minutes before serving. Now if your, your, if your pasta is too thick, here's where the pasta water comes into play. If it's too thick, put it back on the stove on like medium to low heat and add a little bit of pasta water at a time until the consistency you know, until it's a little less thick. Then wait for it to sit for another five minutes before serving. And make sure you mix it before that too. Enjoy! How to make baked ziti. First things first, I already have pre-made sauce that we made homemade the other night. I'm going to use that, but it's very simple to make. You can even cheat a little and buy homemade um, store-bought sauce like Rayo's or something, whatever you like. You, got, you buy a pound of ground beef, cook it up till it's nice and brown, add some diced onions, garlic, seasonings and spices, add your sauce, let it simmer for about half hour, and you're ready to go. When you're all ready, cook pasta according to package direct directions. Strain your pasta. When you're strained your pasta, add all your meat sauce and combine. Next, we're going to take 16 ounces of ricotta cheese and mix it in. However, when you mix it in, make sure you leave it. Next, add a fourth cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. A fourth cup or more, let's face it, more cheese the better, and combine. Next, grab yourself a baking dish, spray it with pan spray, and pour only about half of the mixture into the pan. Top with generous handfuls of shredded mozzarella cheese and pour the rest of your mixture on top of that. Add more shredded mozzarella cheese and bake off at 450 degrees for about 15 minutes or until cheese is melted and top is golden. How to make apple cobbler. You will need the streusel topping I made in one of my most recent baking videos, as well as probably a couple pounds of apples. Enough, if you were making an apple pie, enough to make an, one apple pie. Probably two or three pounds. I only have a little bit of streusel topping left though, so I'm, I only, I'm only going to use two apples. You want to peel, core, and slice your apples and put them into a baking dish. Simply cover the top with your streusel topping and bake at 350 degrees until the top is golden and your apples are fully cooked. Start off with maybe 15-20 minutes, then go from there. Now after about 40-50 to 50 minutes in the oven, they are done. You can eat this hot, well warm or cold. Feel free to try it with any fruit you'd like. 
and you can also eat it by itself or you can serve it over ice cream but otherwise enjoy it is delicious I highly recommend how to make chicken apple burgers you'll need one pound of ground chicken and some sort of apple that does not completely demolish when you cook it so like a gala apple or a granny smith etc core and dice apple no you don't have to peel it if you don't want to put your diced apples on top of your ground chicken and also add in any type of seasonings and spices you like I added salt pepper onion powder garlic powder cayenne etc and then mix to combine when we're done mixing our chicken and apples we're gonna lightly coat a pan with oil and start forming our patties when you're done forming your patties cook on medium for 8 to 10 minutes on each side side note I'm making these fries they are delicious and they How to make penne alla vodka. Start boiling your pot water for pasta. Mince three or four garlic cloves. In a second large pot, add a tablespoon of oil and your minced garlic and cook until slightly lightly brown or until fragrant. Add two cups of marinara, a fourth cup of half and half or cream, and a fourth cup of vodka. vodka. Whisk and cook for two minutes. When your pasta bo water boils, cook pasta according to package directions. Simmer the sauce for 10 minutes or until nice and hot. Add a half a cup of how grated Parmesan cheese, a half a cup of ricotta cheese, salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. Mix to combine. Drain, combine, and enjoy.